We finally made it to another Friday, which means it's time for another episode of Sports Corner. I'm Cole Young, and I have a whole lot to cover this week. The NBA playoffs are fully underway, and we have been treated to some thrilling games early. While the Lakers and Clippers both were eliminated, us Southern Californians still have plenty of basketball to enjoy, even if we don't have a horse in the race this year. Take a look at how the playoff bracket is coming together so far. Phoenix and New Orleans are tied one game to one, Miami is leading Atlanta two games to zero, Philadelphia took a 3-0 lead over the Raptors after a buzzer-beater victory on Wednesday. The Bucks and Bulls are tied 1-1. Boston's holding a 2-0 lead over the Brooklyn Super Team. The Grizzlies are up 2-1 over the T-Wolves. The Dallas Mavericks are leading the Jazz 2-1. And the Golden State Warriors are looking like a championship team again as they are up 3-0 over the Denver Nuggets. If you were able to catch Sports Corner last week, I did predict the Phoenix Suns would make the finals again this year. So, so far so good. But there's definitely a long way to go. Tonight, we have Game 3 for the Heat and Hawks, Bucks and Bulls, as well as the Suns and Pelicans. On Saturday, a few more teams are playing Game 3 and a few Game 4s, and then Sunday is chock full of Game 4s, so by Monday, we may already have a few teams eliminated. The weekend games kick off at 4 this afternoon, so be sure to tune in for some more primetime basketball. In the baseball world, things are looking pretty good for us SoCal fans. As of Thursday, the Angels are in first place in the AL West, the Dodgers lead the NL West, and the Padres are just one game back behind the Dodgers. On Wednesday night, the Angels put on a dominant performance against the Astros, taking home a 6-0 victory. Yet again, Shohei Otani made history in this game. The Angels had 11 at-bats in the top of the first inning and scored all of their six runs in the first. Otani was set to be the starting pitcher on the night, and this is where the record sets in. Otani is now the first starting pitcher to ever bat twice in the top of the first inning before even stepping foot on the mound. And then, once he did get up on the mound, Otani looked like he might throw a perfect game. When he got pulled in the sixth inning, he had 12 strikeouts, zero earned runs, one walk, and just one hit. At the plate, he went two for four, including a double and two RBIs. Another dominant performance from a generational talent. The Halos are off to an incredible start, but they're not alone. The Dodgers are looking like a very scary team. Losing only three games so far, the Dodgers have a plus 32 run differential at the start of the year, which means they have scored 64 runs while only giving up 32. The Dodgers are heading into a series against the San Diego Padres this weekend, so this will be a true test for the best team in the NL West. If all three of these teams continue on their current paces, we're going to see a playoff bracket filled with California teams. Between the Padres-Dodgers games this weekend and the Angels homestand against Baltimore, there's plenty of baseball to enjoy, either in person or on TV, and I know I will be watching most, if not all of it. Maybe baseball isn't your thing, and you want to watch something a little more fast-paced. F1 is back this week, and the drivers are headed to Italy. The race takes place at 6 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday morning, so if you're up bright and early, be sure to check out another exhilarating race. Ferrari's Charles Leclerc, who has already won two races, currently sits in first place on the season, and the Ferrari team is also the top team in the Constructors' Cup. Red Bull, Mercedes, and even McLaren aren't too far behind, though. Every race matters in this sport, so it will be exciting to see which teams perform well this weekend. If you're anything like me, it's about that time of year where the itch to watch football starts coming back. And if that's the case, you're in luck. A brand new league, the United States Football League, or the USFL, had its inaugural games over last weekend. While the talent level is nowhere near being on par with the NFL, there's still some fun moments and big plays. The USFL is also being used as sort of a guinea pig for the NFL as they're testing out new rules and different aspects of the game. Probably the biggest rule difference is the overtime rules. If you remember, a few weeks back I reported that the NFL did alter its overtime rules, slightly. However, the USFL has drastically different rules. They modeled theirs to be more like college football. If a game's tied at the end of regulation, each team will get a scoring attempt from the two-yard line in a best-of-three format. If the game's still tied after three attempts, the teams will alternate tries until there's a winner. It's simple, but it could prove for some action-packed games. Another cool new feature is the three-point attempt. After a touchdown is scored, teams will still have the traditional options of kicking a PAT or going for two. Now, the new league is adopting a third option to attempt a three-point conversion from the 10-yard line. Imagine a regular two-point conversion, but from further away and worth, well, three points. The catch is, once a team decides this is the route they're gonna take, they can't change their minds, even after a penalty or a timeout. Just like the overtime rules, this can add an interesting twist to the game that we know and love. There's also a few differences with kickoffs, punts, and a couple penalties, but nothing too major. If you're at all interested, there's four more games this weekend starting tonight at 5 p.m. 
If you're not interested and would rather stick to the tried and true NFL, don't worry too much. Draft is coming up on Thursday the 28th. Round one is Thursday, two and three on Friday, and four through seven on Saturday. Feels like a good time to maybe throw in one more prediction. I think the Jaguars are going to take Aiden Hutchinson, the pass rusher for Michigan, first overall in this year's draft. For those keeping score at home, I now have three predictions on the table. Aiden Hutchinson, first overall, Suns in the finals, and two of three of the SoCal MLB teams to make the playoffs. I'd say I'm about 70% confident in those, but only time will tell. There's more than enough games, races, and matches across all different sports to check out this weekend, so be sure to tune in for a few. But the weather is going to be insanely nice and hot, and there's a solid swell on the horizon for the weekend. I may need to take a break from my sports binge watch and head out for some much needed surf. Regardless, I will still be here next Friday to bring you all the reports, scores, and updates. I'm Cole Young, and thank you as always for tuning into Sports Corner. Have a great weekend.